I'm just joshing and welcome back to episode number 14 of our Nailed Pokemon it. Gold and Silver <laughs> Randomizer Soul Link first try didn't have to take three attempts to get that one done with our good buddy Totter What's the good word friends? It's Totter here. Hey, we're back and sorry for being gone Just had some things to take care of at the old home front over the past week, but we're back and ready to go and uh, boy, it's been it's been it's been what feels like a really it's only been a week, but it feels like forever. Honestly, I miss you guys. I mean, for I I messed up the intro like several times going into this, <laughs> so it has been a bit, and we're getting the rust off a little bit. It's a great episode to potentially get the rust off though, because we have a lot of things to do today. We had an encounter Palooza last episode. Four mm -hmm. encounters, I think we ended up getting. We're sure gonna did. Three more to that today as we get, uh, what's, I don't remember the exact number of the route that's right to our northwestern, but we're going to get an encounter there, we're going to get an Ecritique City encounter, and we're going to get a Burnt Tower encounter, while maybe fighting our rival along the way. Should be a very stacked episode, should have some tough battles to do, and should, could, would, maybe, potentially get a full team by the end of the day, if we get lucky. <laughs> We've been trying for a full team for... Probably four or five episodes now. I it feels like it feels like it's that long. I don't know if it's that long, but we've been at five Pokemon for quite a while. So ever since we he got have. shiny hair across, actually, and we would really like to have that sixth pair, even though we'd be tempting full team Karma. But you know what? It's oh, I have. I just realized I have Seinfeld we, on the team. He will be going <laughs> to the box, of course. That is doesn't matter. That, that was a. Uh, one that of is, our, who's Wimpy? <laughs> Wimpy is I use my Raticate. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Part, part of the collection of Pokemon, which you if you've already seen the last episode um, over on uh, my channel, self promotion. <laughs> but uh, all of that encounter, all of that encounter Palooza that we've been talking about, unfortunately, did not turn into any pairs that were honestly worth a while. But uh, it amounted to very little, unfortunately. Let's hope the luck's a little bit better today. Maybe we can get that mystical, magical sixth pair. I wonder mm. if there's any combination of Pokemon and of pairs in our box that we could maybe make six Pokemon with. Um, mm. It's possible, oh, but uh, I like I do like the current five right now. I just, about, by the way. I just about got 360 no scope by a pair of grills, just like that one guy did in the last episode. <laughs> Almost did it, but I I did not. Like I Around saw the corner. I, I saw him in the vision, and I just sidestepped. I moonwalked <laughs> right out of there. I was gone. Oh, now, was a long again, time. it has been a bit. So my memory, as most people know, is horrible. <laughs> we got the Sudowoodo encounter at the same time. Mm -hmm. Before that, I don't know who got the first encounter at all. According to my little listy list that I got in front of me. I encountered Cubone and Hypno on 36, and okay. so this one would be uh, would be yours. Okay, so I, have am, fun. I am all for that. Let me heal up Wolivia a little bit. Just realize it's been about a week. Wolivia needs a little bit of help. <laughs> I guess should I have done take... that in the intermission period. Didn't think about it. Sorry, Wolivia. Just I been sitting got... there injured for 10 days. Mm, how far away is the next city outside of a critique? Because I don't think we. Can oh, get there it's right here. We got. Uh, I think we got two train. We, we have this. Oh, would you want to take a detour? Would you want to get to a critique first and then come back for the encounter? I just need Pokeballs. That's all okay, I need. I have. I have eight. I it's have eight, one though. trainer battle. It, it, it's this little nerd standing here. It, all we have to do <laughs> is beat him. And we could go buy some. I think I'm actually low on Pokeballs as well. Let me check. I got 11, but, so. But we would also have to cross through the wild grass anyways, so. That's a I great think, point. Yeah, SpaghettiOs galore. I, I you know what? The biscuit. Yeah, I'm fine. I think a Pokeballs be fine, but this is where the ho the ho, -ho comes, so. I like, yeah. You know? Let, let's do a little biscuit risking. And it's the That's first right. blade of grass. You know it's going to be good. What do we got? <laughs> Oh, oh, hello, Is that Mr. Dupes? That's not du do we? Mi we don't have a fighting type on the team, do we? Mr. Fisticus, we do not. Um, Yo, Josh, I'm not gonna say it. Have you? But this is a potential sixth pair. This is this is true. Did no, but you didn't encounter a Tyrog, did you? I don't think. I don't think. I'm trying to remember something in my bro. Please don't kill it. That's a crit. Whoa, crit. hey, hey, in my hey. brain, it's telling me I did, but I don't think I did. You're right. So this well, is a new I, encounter for me, and it's a hit on chain. It's male. I don't see it, so here comes full team karma. Dragon, Take dragon, effect. dragonite, female, dragonite, female, dragonite. Either that or even a steel type. I don't think we have a steel type on the team. No, I could take I a magnemite. So. That'd be fine. Give me a little electric type. This is going to oh, be primary water, I bet. Be a male. I, I bet oh. it is. It's, it's male. male. It's male. It's, it's a male. male. 
That's right. Let me, I'll, I'll give it a Google search just in case, but I do believe that it is, um, it is primary water. I could I'm, be wrong though. I, I would say it's 80% chance. Hey, uh, hey, it's a male. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Never mind. A golem would be water. great. Chin Chow's primary water, so that doesn't work for us. Golem doesn't work for us either. Show yeah. the show us the Steelix. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of males in the grass so far, <laughs> and by a lot the of males I've seen spaghettios. too. A lot of boyos up here. Here comes the female. Nope. No, no still, still looking out. Yeah. A lot of dudes. The lot full of dudes. team karma potential is alive. <laughs> We're in the spaghettios, and there's a lot of meatballs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> PG. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's P. What are you talking about? We're just talking about. <gasps> oh Ooh. my God! Please oh, be a the female. Chances are so low. No, the chances dang, are yeah. so low. I didn't even and think about that. Uh, you have nine tails, so we do have a fire type. I do. Even but though that Charizard. would be a busted. Pair. I would love a chur izzard, dude. This is the whole episode is gonna be spent searching for this one female. <laughs> Where are the one. ladies at? Yeah, well, this it's whole be right episode, here. you're you're going through me in high school oh. right now. There, oh, yeah. never mind. There it you is. found it. There's a Chin Chow. I do love Chin Chow, though. I mean, I won't complain. It's a good but... po. I, I I think that Pokemon and Lantern deserve more respect. They don't get nearly yeah. enough. Yeah. It's a unique typing for its time. So that's that's probably the best part about it. Like there is that's no a... water electric types. I just remembered, uh, it is unique typing. I yeah. just remembered, uh, this episode's gonna be going live, by the way, I one balled the Hitmon Champ. Hey. This episode's hey. gonna be going live on a Tuesday, which means it is Tell Us Tuesday, where we typically yes. like to ask the viewers at home questions. That's a great, that's a great, 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 great potential Tell Us Tuesday question. What is there a Pokemon out there that you think gets pooped on, not, <laughs> not literally, but metaphorically, that you think deserves a little bit more love? Oh, I think Jinchao and Lantern would be one of those for me. Do you, do you have any others that you can think of? I very much have one, Josh, and it is one that I love. It is just it a keeps... Gen 2 starter, perhaps? You know, I, okay, that's another candidate, but I was thinking of a different one. Really? A different one. Yeah, you might even be able to guess this one, too. But it's a Pokemon that got passed up on the prior five generations after it where there was there was all kinds of opportunity to improve on its stature it was a perfect mega evolution uh candidate especially it's in a... gen 7 when you're in a tropical region and you got, and a, got you a, got a banana a, beard you got a yellow beard on and they can't I do nothing are you kidding me i know exactly who you're talking about <sighs> yeah uh, tropius is boy, my boy it's our boy tropius and exactly. i agree with you 100 percent. i i yeah. agree with you that's a Pokemon that I would love to use. Not that he's mm -hmm. not viable to use in a playthrough, because you can get through with him, but mm -hmm. needs a yeah. little something to push him over to the to the next level, in my personal opinion. It's just yeah, its typing is just super bad. It, it get, makes me get feel super bad. bad. Yeah, pretty much. But I mean, you make evolution could have made it like Grass Dragon, which still stinks, but. I remember in a video I did, I said Grass Electric would be perfect just because its name like refers to like something that was like electric. I can't remember what it was. Like I kind of went down the rabbit hole with it, trying to uh -huh. think of any excuse to make Tropius like cooler. But I was just like, dude, they're just he got made in Gen Three and got forgotten about. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I don't. He, he. Well, they did the thing in. Oh, please do not just nickname this thing B. He did. B. Um. He did that. Um. They did that thing in Gen 7. The Alolan forms were cool, but they only gave them to Kanto mods, which I think was a big missed opportunity because there were a lot of Pokemons from other generations that Oh yeah. That could have um could have received a little bit extra love in there. Yo, it's Sunday. Oh, it's sunny! Yeah! Dude, we were so lucky. Sunday, sun. Magnet, that's going straight on on uh, my boy Flappy. <gasps> my pocket is already full, are you kidding me? I it's like this is a then. Gen 1 problem! I thought you had infinite pockets in this game. I guess they split the bag up, which is nice, but you still have to deal with that. That's annoying. Yeah, that really is. I'll, what did I'll you that. um what did you nickname your Pokemon, by the way? Oh, uh Shinshao, I nicknamed Lumina. Ooh, I used nice, to nice. I used to I nicknamed a Growlithe one time in Lumina, but I was just like, you know what? It doesn't really make sense. I don't even know why I called it that. And the name popped in my head. I was like, <laughs> I have an electric Pokemon that lights things up. So perfect. I like uh, it. Okay, so I, I got named my Hitmonchan uh, Billy. B. Did you ever in middle school slash high school slash any of those in gym class have to do? 
Tybo. Do you remember Tybo workout videos? We probably did. I think in seventh grade they made us so, but that was at the time, like when you're in seventh or eighth grade, where it's just like everybody's making fun of everything. And yeah. uh, that was one of those things. So it's just like, man, I was like, and being in middle school and high school is always rough because it's hard to like different things without the fear of getting made fun of really bad. So I'm just yep. like, man, I was like, I don't have anything against Tybo, but yeah, boo Tybo is just really we easy. Were, we were not... actually required to do it by, like in our gym class curriculum, we had a mm -hmm. whole section where we did Tybo. And the mm -hmm. guy who led it was named Billy Blanks and he would do it with the washing machine. So yeah, I yeah. nicknamed my, uh, my, uh, my hit on chan Billy after that. Nice, nice. Which by the way, I, Obviously, what I just described is a horrible way to go through high school, but I was just like, man, I just want people to leave me alone. So it's like, yeah, whatever. Tybo's dumb. Just go away. But uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, you kind of kind of got we got. Did we get stuck doing it for I think we just did it for like a day and like oh, yeah. we kind of half participated. The gym teachers didn't really like push us to do it like beyond that so it was just like one day it was there and one day it was gone i was like okay that's fine that's I was the like, nice I, way to do it yeah i was like i don't want to be active anyway <laughs> so <laughs> it's like is it almost lunchtime I, i'm ready for my my fiestata fiestata pizza i think that's what those were called i can't remember yeah. that's that's a national like school food isn't it fiestata pizzas something like yeah i can't remember the exact name but something like that sounds familiar to me see they tasted great back then but i bet you we'd have one now and the, not even what the nostalgia not even the nostalgia would make it taste good <laughs> yeah there'd be no way hey we're in oh. uh we're in a town we, we are, are in, a town, in a town and i have just been sucked into a cutscene here because i just yeah. remembered uh this man right here i mean he's kind of famous his name's bill and yeah. i just remembered he's gonna give us an eevee not here but if we go back to goldenrod we can actually get an eevee from him at so his we'll house have to pencil yeah. that down is something to do yeah did you uh wait am i bringing back the bill voice from pokemon red and blue or did you want to throw one because i remember my bill voice was not very good I, I, if it's a recurring character, I think you should stick with should it. Just stick with it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Tara, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. Oh. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? Uh, duh. I've only played Red and Blue 50,000 <laughs> times, Bill. Oh, well, my time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. Ooh, getting crazy. <laughs> if you if you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. Yeah, I, I bet it would. <laughs> so you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Got it? Good. Now don't you worry. I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye Okay, can thanks, we Bill. talk about they just acknowledge the existence essentially of time travel in the Pokemon universe and they yeah. don't really bring it up ever again. Yeah, yeah, that is <laughs> that is very true. They wanted to make it work and it was like, hey, we got all these new moves and new Pokemon, but uh, just, just time travel. Yeah, not a big deal. You know, yeah. you know it's just a little Normal side Sunday. thing in the whole yeah. Pokemon world. <laughs> um uh. so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go deposit uh, my boy mm. My boy rat. Get him yeah, out of here. Seinfeld's gonna have to go as well. Oh, I just remember I never answered my um I never gave my underappreciated Pokemon. And I don't actually yeah. know that mine I should preface mine's not that underappreciated. I think overshadowed is probably a better word. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have a similar it's not as bad as Tropius, without a doubt. Um mm -hmm. I have always had a very soft spot in my heart for Flygon from Gen 3. Mm -hmm. I felt like he got overshadowed in Gen 3 because they introduced two dragons. You got Flygon, which you can get mm -hmm. pretty early, and then Salamence, who's this, you know, you can't even find a Bagon. It's secret, hidden in the back of Waterfall Cavern. You gotta find it. The leader Lance has one. It's his final Pokemon. It's his, there's so much, like, mystique around Salamence mm -hmm. that Flygon in its own generation was like, it's just a dragon. And then, right. to make matters worse, in the next generation, they introduce another ground uh, ground dragon type in Garchomp that's just 
infinitely better <laughs> statistically better. than Flygon, so you just made him worthless. It makes me so sad. Right. I, You know, I was just thinking of those two back to back in my head, too. And yeah, Flygon seems like a, such a subservient ground dragon now. Like, he's oh, just right. the scum. Yeah, he is like, God, how do I put it? Like, uh, yeah, he's, he's like, he's like, like the, the minor league. sad little brother, yeah. He's like the mi like the baseball minor leagues of uh, yeah, Garchomp who's in the majors. It's like, <laughs> someday he'll be a Garchomp. And it makes me Man. so sad because that Pokemon has so much potential. So, like you said, could have been given a Mega, been really cool. Could mm -hmm. have been given an... I, I'm so mad they didn't do an Alolan form of some sort. I feel like mm -hmm. Flygon should have been the first ever bug dragon type. It just makes yes. sense. Literally based on a dragonfly. I have no idea why it's. I mean, you get it in the desert, so it's. I get why it's ground dragon, but I don't know. It yeah. could, such a good opportunity to be a bug dragon. That and Yan Mega both got robbed of that oh, typing. Oh, for sure. Yeah, which is another one of my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, I don't know, Josh. You want to jump in and uh, do a critique? Uh, which this would be my encounter. But do you want to? You want to knock this one out now? I'm ready. To, I'm ready to go. All right, sir. Well, here, let me write down. We could not make the magic happen with uh, Hitmonchan and Chinchal, but maybe the, the the sixth slot is still open. And there's so many types out there. How many? So we have ten members. There's still five potential types out there that we don't yes. have on the team right now. They could potentially there, add it. What do so we got? Many... We got a Grass, Steel, Dragon. Grass, Steel, Dragon, uh... Flying, but that's almost impossible. That is literally impossible. It's literally impossible. So really uh, there's only four. What's the last type besides... We have a Ground type, we have a Rock type. There's... Okay, so there's 15 types? There, sh there should be 15. We can't get Flying, so there's 14, and we have plus. 10. Well, plus two makes it 17. I think it was initially 15. I don't oh, know. Was there, not oh, sure. was it? I think so. Maybe I, there I, are I, more. I can't remember. I just remember, feel like honestly. there's a lot of, of options out there we're not quite nailing yet. I know gra Grass, Steel, and Dragon are out there. There's one more I can't think of. Uh, but Ghost? your point still stands. There's not very many out there. Ghost is one of them. And here's my bite. So here we go. Come on. Come How about on. A, I would love to have a Mr. Evis on my team since you mentioned yeah. Ghost. Oh, that's, that's dupes. dupes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let me just double check. Uh, yep, Magikarp. Is... Yeah, that's linked with my Pupitar, so. That's that is it, right. which is a just bananas Bombs. pair. Bomb pair. It okay, let me get out. Bomb pair. All right, let's let's try that again. I would like to not catch Pokemon that actually exist without the randomizer. <laughs> yeah, your so. old rod. Can we get the good rod by this point, or I don't? Maybe not. Um, I don't know. I'm honestly not really sure. I don't really know sure. you normally get the good rod. Ooh, that's a water type, so I, it's not usable. But that's a I beautiful like it. Pokemon. I like it a lot. I really do. I love Vaporeon. But Vaporeon man. is, uh, do you ever play through the, um, uh, the GameCube Pokemon games, Colosseum and or XD Gale of Darkness? I never did. I, I kind of wish I did, because they sound like really good games. I just, I've seen them, like, on YouTube, like, kind of taking a peek at them, but never, never really gave them a shot. I, I never played you? Colosseum, I've heard good things, but I played XD, Gale of Darkness, and you start with a Vaporeon. Or, you mm. sorry, you start with an Eevee. Right. Um, so, as opposed to a normal starter, you get to obviously pick which type you want to go with, and uh, mm -hmm. I'll never, one of my first playthroughs that I went with the went with Vaporeon, which I never really used. Jolteon's always been my favorite, probably still is my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's dupes. That's dupes, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know... I didn't have a ton of appreciation for Vaporeon before that, but maybe mm -hmm. it was just playing it on the GameCube and being able to see it in the 3D as opposed to, you know, at that time they were only up to Ruby and Sapphire on the Game Boy Color, so maybe it was just seeing them in 3D, but mm -hmm. I've, uh, I really, Vaporeon shot up in the rankings after that for sure. It's funny because uh, out of all eight EV evolutions, um, I have encountered my two least favorite to trigger oh, some no! people out there. You went you don't like Vaporeon? Well, I mean, you well, like all I just all love all the others. The yeah, yeah, I like them all. Yeah, Umbreon, he's been kind of getting up there for me. I mean, now that he has a sentimental tie with your your shiny. But uh, beyond right. that, he's like, eh. But everyone else I like a lot. Vaporeon just gets the short end of the stick because everybody else is just amazing. So it's like, that sorry, but... Okay, am I going to be able to hypnose this thing with, with four rounds of sand in my eye? Probably not. <laughs> I'm That's... pretty sure I'm gonna have to put this thing to sleep if I want to catch it because it's a friggin there. Oh, coming through! Nice. In the clutch. Nice, nice. Three, 360 no scope. X chops X. 
Let's go. Yeah, that's that's a uh, that's a similar conundrum I have when people ask me like, oh, what's your favorite Pokemon generations? And I give them my ranking, and I have like I have like Gen three at the bottom, and they're like, you hate Gen three? And I'm like, I don't hate Gen three. The other generations are just really I like them all. One like, ball. Nice. Yes. One ball. We're getting One lucky ball. today, except for the fact that I can't find an encounter. <laughs> With the lower <laughs> ball, baby. Yes. Mm. But uh, sorry, I jumped in. I know. What were, you, what were you saying? I was actually listening to you right when oh, that happened. Oh, you're fine. No, it's like... Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anything in here. Hopefully, like, the rare encounter is a non-water type and non-dupes. I mean, at the very worst, I can just say, Oh, darn, I guess I'll take this Pupitar. Yeah, um, sure. Even though it is dupes, you, you can never have too many potential Tyranitars in the box, in my opinion. That is, so, that is very uh, true. Worst comes to worst, I'll just catch another Pupitar, but I'd like to see if there's anything else out there, potentially. Yeah. Uh, was your Vaporeon male or female? It was a male. Okay. Good old male. How about how about an item, Vaporeon? That'd be great. No, 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 no. No, nothing. Fine! Nothing. Oh, I want your item anyway! <laughs> just probably, it was probably Barry and just chomped on it right when I caught him. It's like, you might catch me, but you won't get my Barry! It's like, fine. I see how it is. Okay. It was probably a gold Barry, too. Right. <laughs> yeah, and for that, you're getting deposited, Vaporeon. I'm so sorry, but that's just how it is. I'm going to do five more encounters, just in the interest of time. If I don't sure. get anything other than a Pupitar, I'll try different spots, too. If I don't Number get anything one. other than a Pupitar or a Blastoise, which are just great Pokemon to be able to fish up, by the way. But if mm. I can't get anything other than those in, um, in these couple encounters... I'll just go with the Pupitar. Yeah, that sounds like, I mean, yeah, I'll have to find a, a female. There's another one. I will have to find a female one. Yeah, that's that'll probably be tough. Well, actually, mm -hmm. is it a 50-50, I think, for uh, for them? Possibly. I'm not sure. Hmm. I, I can't remember. Is. I can't remember, to be honest. Do, 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 do. At least, um, you know, this is going to take a little bit, but at least the music in this town, maybe my, mm, I don't know if it's my favorite in the entire game. Okay, I might go ahead and catch this female yeah. Pupitar just to be, just to get it done, and then I'll continue right. to see if there's anything else out there. Yeah, Pupitar. I mean, again, it's not a bad, it's not a bad pair. Oh, I mean, it's, again, you cannot have too many of these in the box, but. I would not, I would not be sad. What's in here? <laughs> anything, anything going on with this guy here? Yes, I'm on an adventure with my Pokemon. Without, I, I agree. Oh, item, item finder, which eh, it's kind of useless, but because I mean, we I press A on like every square anyway. It's like I already know where most like the hidden items are, even right. though somebody might jump in the comments and say, "Well, you missed this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one." So now I'm just like, eh, <laughs> eh, eh. I don't need five Master Balls. No big deal. Right. Uh, I just realized we haven't found a single Master Ball yet. Now that you mentioned that. That is that is very true. I mean, I, I imagine it'd probably be a lot tougher because there's there's a wider variety of items that can be found uh, in this game. I mean, thankfully we took off all of the meaningless ones, or else we'd have a bag full of mail by this point. But right, <laughs> which ain't got time for. I, I ain't gonna be sending you any mail, Josh. Just sorry, <laughs> sorry about it. Not even an Animal Crossing. <laughs> well, sir, which I'm gonna have another very unpopular. Uh, uh, life decision. I don't play Animal Crossing. It's crazy. Did I? I, I can't remember. Did I tell you the, the exact? Ooh, Listerine. delicious. Did I tell you the exact number of hours I've been playing Animal Crossing before? I I don't know if I actually got there. We started talking about it. So mm -hmm. I got that game. It came out on the twentieth. I got mm -hmm. it the next Thursday after, which would have been the twenty sixth. Mm. So I've had it. Let's go, Pupitar. There you I've go. I've had nice. it for le a little less than three weeks, maybe like 16, 17, 18 days. Mm -hmm. I just checked today. <laughs> I have 155 hours in Animal Crossing. Nice, Josh. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> three weeks. Can you tell what I've been doing this quarantine? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, I can't judge because um, uh, I've had Final Fantasy VII Remake for uh three days now with a lot of stuff to do like in between like since the time that i got it up until now like outside things that have kept me from playing it i've still managed to log 13 hours so far and mm -hmm. i definitely plan to log more when we wrap right. up with a session tonight because i <laughs> love i love the remake right now i don't know how many of you out there are playing it right now 
And if you've played the original, or if you've been around since the original came out, like I have, uh, it's living up to my expectations big time. But uh, no spoilers in the chat. I'm still playing. But uh, absolutely, I uh, I'm loving it so much right now. But um, nope, I uh, I'm definitely gonna be playing that after the session. I'm gonna play it all day tomorrow. I'm probably gonna play it all day. Tuesday, fourth wall, <laughs> all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, so on, so forth, so on, so forth. There's almost but, uh, no better feeling than finding a game you can do that with, like being yeah. able to just completely, mm -hmm. not derail your entire life, but like mm -hmm. put it on hold for a second and be like, I want to experience all of this. It's been a long time, man, for sure. Um, well... I'm gonna wanna... go ahead and give up on the fishing. I'm I'm just gonna take the pupitar, which oh yeah. darn, I gotta take a pupitar, but um I, miss... I don't know that there's anything else in there or if it's worth looking, so I missed what you named it. What'd you name that that? I bad named girl. it Tom. Oh Tom. shoot, I messed up. <laughs> I thought we were going straight encounter. Oh I goofed. Oh, oh that's fine. That's fine. Uh I named it Tom, uh, mm -hmm. because we were talking about Animal Crossing, and the man who owns my life in Animal Crossing is Tom Nook. He's the mm. all-powerful being in Animal Crossing, and Titar's a pretty all-powerful being, so just straight up Tom. Or you go go Tom Brady, because he's going to destroy everybody like Godzilla <laughs> once he starts playing down in Tampa Bay. That is very <laughs> true. Um, so, I got to throw Bakugo, and I just skipped one of his... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's you! You wanted to get stronger, so you came for the legendary Pokemon that's supposed to be here. That's your story, right? Huh. Well, Deku... That's not gonna happen, because I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna be the world's greatest trainer, so a legendary Pokemon would be perfect for me, wouldn't you say? Well, anyway, I'm getting tired of having a whip like you always showing up. Quit dragging me down, Deku! I'm gonna waste you! I'm sad. Okay, so this I thought we were gonna get this encounter. This might be the last thing we do in today's episode, depending on... How tough this ends up being? Oh, it's an 20. Box, so it's not looking too bad. Level 20 though. Yeah, I gotta I gotta switch out X Chomps X, who is just way too overpowered at this point. But we're gonna take <laughs> care of his baby brother real yeah, quick. Yeah, go and kill little brother. I yeah. love Croc. He what a cutie. Dude, little brother's trying to come in and take the Xbox, and I'm like, no, mom said I could play. <laughs> God, go away, go play with Legos. It. It's an online game. <laughs> yeah, stop it. I'm gonna tell mom. I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's not. I almost, that's not. I was gonna go into um, Celebi to take care of the Sarbot. Mm -hmm. Remember, I lost confusion. Oh snap! <laughs> Big ribs. <laughs> I remember and when I, that happened. And I haven't learned anything because look at these thumbs working their magic, still <laughs> mashing till the day Just I die. Mashing away. Oh, is this hair cross gonna be shiny too? Oh. I actually messed to. up earlier too. I don't know if you I don't know if you caught it when I was trying to catch um, or not catch. I was trying to defeat something. It was in mm -hmm. a battle. That's a normal hair cross. It is. And that uh, is a... I kept mashing with my flaffy out because I kept I wanted to go down and hit thundershock and I kept accidentally mashing and I ended up using tackle twice in a row. It was on a Kangaskhan. <laughs> I was nice. like, I just want to Thundershock this thing, but I couldn't stop mashing. And not once Ooh. did I accidentally mash and hit tackle, but even after I did that once and realized I need to stop, second time. Mm. <laughs> nice. Can't stop. Well, th that's what I was doing. I remember I was talking to the, the teacher in a previous episode where I pressed it like 50 million times. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can kill this at this range. If not, I'm in trouble. Die. Okay, good. We're good. Oh, We're good. goodbye. It looked it looked like a three hit. I was pretty sure if I didn't, I was gonna have to eat another horn attack, and that could have been bad news bears. Here I'm a star. Beefy. Let's go. Nice. I'm a star. Who's uh who's gonna fight an I'm a star? Uh, man, am I gonna go into X chomps? Uh oh. What do you got face? I got a scissor. Ugh. Ugh. And no fire type in sight. Nope. And that's the only thing that it's weak to as well. It's four times weak to fire and weak to nothing else. Which is kind of a problem. Um, where do I put this Amistar? I still have a very glaring water weakness. You know? Mm. I don't like it. I guess I'm gonna have to go into X-Chomps. I was hoping to avoid using this battle, but I'm not about to uh, play the Risk It game uh, when it comes to my Pokemon just yet. Do you think Scizor will have retained... I don't think in this game... I don't think that... Aerialise did not exist in this game. So I don't think no. Scyther actually learns any flying type moves, correct? Um, I think it learns wing attack, I think. I think, I Do think, I think. you think I the Scizor could potentially also know wing attack? Because I don't want to risk shiny Not... air across if that's the case, but I would love to double kick this thing in the face. 
I uh, man, I don't I'm know. Gonna, I'll scout I, first. Yeah, I really can't. I really can't be for sure. But I'm pretty sure Scyther gets wing attack. I just don't know when. Same for same for Scizor. Like I don't know at what point to get them. Yeah, what a but beautiful I'm, Pokemon, by the way. He's focusing his energy. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start taking a little, little long to take out. But man, I just, I do not have a team that can combat water types yet. Ow, that hurts. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's remedy this situation real quick. I might be here a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I might I be guess. here a while. Mm. Oh, there's some Truman, damage. Let's go. <laughs> Truman licking its face. Licking mm. its face right off. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Ooh, take he's it going easy. for the crits. Yeah, he did. I was glad. I, I was thinking about going for another water gun, and if I did that, I would have been a dead man. Just like I'll the Samus going to be. Oh, thank you, Truman, for shortening this process ever so slightly. <laughs> okay, I'm a star's out of here. I'm a star's gone. I think. I think we finally got the challenge we were looking for, Josh. I'm I think glad we. we uh, I like. Oh shoot! Let's not crit me. I'm glad we skipped those trainers because you can't miss a cut. You cannot miss a cut. Truman? Uh -oh. oh, thank you, False Swipe. A False Whoa! Swipe? What a noob! He's not, is oh, he trying to catch now you? Go for the cut. How do you even miss a cut, my dude? <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, he's trying to catch me. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we skipped those trainers. This is a level, like... I, I'm glad Ooh. that I had fear literally coursing through my veins for, for a little <laughs> bit. We haven't had much of that. It feels good. Right. Here comes a Megahorn. Right and eradicates uh, big old teeth. Donk! Boom! Ah, I love it. I mean, he's kind of—he can take those big old ears that can uh, that can kind of make the shape of a horn. I mean, I think it would work. I, th I think <laughs> Put it would them together work. like a drill. That was Why? not enough damage, hair across. I thought you were gonna one shot this boy. <laughs> Why is Radicate using Scary Face when it already has a Scary Face? This might hurt. <laughs> yeah, it hurt a little bit. Not he's just bad. making sure you know. <laughs> yeah, he just wants you to see it. Hey, look at me! Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> I see like you. Monsters Inc. No, just scary die! Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. <laughs> yeah. In a bunk. Oh, okay, he's down. One. Kabuto. 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 Easy peasy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bakako. You tried. You tried, bro. But trying, it's not good enough. Not enough. You can't blame him. Nope. We're just too good. Uh, let's not leer me, though. That's a little scary. Let's not do that. <laughs> I think he got him. I, th I think Maybe he three gooch. thunder shocks to take this thing out. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Try two! <laughs> My mistake. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going up against a nerd. I'm sorry I've been so modest about my Pokemon's abilities. Yeah. Oh, I had a crit to finish him off too. Is that I do that. Oh. This is a future voice for somebody, I can guarantee yeah. it. <laughs> uh, huh. This is why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it. I wasn't even trying. Debate. Yeah. Oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Out of my way! Bye. I'm gonna go see the Kimono Girls. Do you got any singles? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> sorry. For the surf, for surf, for surf. <laughs> like, that's not that's not what that place is, Bakugo. Slow down. Not even Come old on, enough. Man. Jeez. Well, well, I guess uh, we could probably go ahead and save this encounter. That's a nice little... Like a, like a mime. Yeah. Reel him into the next episode? How about we start yeah. the next episode with an encounter? I think that idea is fantastic, Josh. I'm with you. In that case, uh, as usual, set out a couple things to do. Didn't quite get them all done, but we had a dang good time doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Please consider showing some support down below in the form of liking, commenting, subscribing. All, of course, help out quite a bit. Don't forget to answer the Tell Us Tuesday question. Is there an underappreciated Pokemon out there that you think deserves a little bit of love? We'd love to hear from you guys. With that, next episode, of course, will be on Totter's channel on Thursday. Link in the description. Make sure to be subscribed over there so you know when that episode goes live. But with that, do you have anything else, Totter? Full Team Karma is coming sooner or later. I can just feel, I feel it, it. I feel in my I bones. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. See ya.